welcome the executive producer of James Bond Spectre. This is Mr. Greg Wilson from E.O.N. Well, um, thank you everyone. We're really proud of this film. And uh, we've done our best to make it bigger and better than anything ever before. Which is why it's fitting that we have the largest Swiss film premiere in history tonight. So thank you all. From a uh, production standpoint, uh, the sheer scale of the action sequences and the stunts and the set pieces in this film it was uh, absolutely staggering, and I think better than anything we've ever done in a Bond film. Um, but all those bells and whistles, they don't mean anything if you don't have a great cast. And uh, we're very lucky tonight to have two of our finest members of our excellent cast. Um, first, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, please welcome the brilliant and beautiful Naomi Harris. Terrifyingly talented Dave Batista. Hey guys. Hello, welcome in Zurich. Now, first of all, I would like to talk to the most beautiful woman in the Bond movies. Mrs. Naomi Harris, who is playing Eve Money Penny, a very important character in the movies. So, how does it feel to play such an iconic figure? Yeah, it's really a wonderful uh, feeling playing Miss Money Penny and going on the incredible journey that she's been on as well. Being introduced in Skyfall as this kind of badass, and then, as you'll see, Inspector having found a sort of more mature, grounded place. I love. Actually, um, playing this role. Thank you for that. Um, I, Only one. I, I have loved playing this role because I've loved being given the opportunity to kind of reinvent and run with this character that was iconic for so many years, and it's a real privilege. And I've had a lot of fun playing her. From what you can see in the trailer, you are going to be a very important help for him, and without giving any details away, how is Miss Moneypenny generally able to understand and help Bond? Um, I think they understand each other because of uh, that they, they both were in the fields together, so they have this kind of rapport. Um, I think there's always this sexual chemistry which everybody really loves, but I think they'll never cross the line um, because they're too professional. As much as Miss Money Penny would love to cross that line, I think she <laughs> I think he would love to as well. <laughs> so, and now. Please be careful, ladies and gentlemen, because he is one of the Bond enemies. So, um, Dave Autista, ladies and gentlemen, how did you prepare to become one of Bond's villains? Uh, it's just a general conversation with Sam Mendes, you know, kind of getting the mindset of the character and really just uh, kind of listening to him, you know, uh, direct. Well, can you tell us about Mr. Higgs? Um, Higgs is a badass. <laughs> he's he's ominous above all, and I think he's just a very methodical uh, sociopath. <laughs> well, it, it's good that you said it because I was not allowed to say badass. <laughs> now I said it. Okay. Um, uh, do you have a favorite villain from Bond history? Yeah, usually it's uh, Ajahn. Why? Because Ajahn as well is a badass with a wooden car bowler. <laughs> Kills. I just I love everything about him. He bring, brings back really like fond childhood memories of James Bond. There was just something, even though he was a henchman, he was a villain. There's just something very lovable about our job. And the whole gimmick is who kills people with a hat? Did he <laughs> just, inspire you while you carried just, it? What was that? Did he inspire you for the character? No, I mean I guess you can make there are, are, are a few similarities, but I always looked at his odd jobs very subservient. He's, he's a man servant. And there's just nothing subservient about Hinks, not at all. You know, Oberhauser sits at one end of the table and Hinks sits at the other. You know, he's a vice president. He's the second in charge. 
Okay. High ranking member, respect your matter. Not serving anybody. Good. Thank you very much, Mr. Wilson. You've been working for a number of James Bond movies. What is so special about Spectre? Well, I think on this film, uh, we really upped the bar. Skyfall was a tough act to follow. Um, and so we just felt we're going to take all the same team and just really try and up our game and just deliver something that on a spectacle level delivers far and beyond anything before. Do you have personally something like a favorite scene without any spoilers? Well, um, there is someone on the stage in a scene on a train, which is pretty iconic. And I won't say any more than that, but uh, I think that will go down in history as a great sequence. Okay, in a few minutes we will start the movie. Maybe you can tell us very quickly, maybe in one or two sentences, what will happen on this enormous screen, which has just been built for today. Um, so I don't think you need any preparation for this. <laughs> I think you should just sit back and enjoy. I hope you enjoyed as much as we've enjoyed making it. Thank you. Thank you very much. right behind the screen at the arena. There will be two parties, one uh, presented by Heineken, where all of you are invited, and another one for the VIP guests, which is taking place in the foyer. And now, enough talking, let's get ready for James Bond number 24. Let's get ready for Spectre. Thank you very much. <laughs> 